I'm joined by Pierre Martin. He's a columnist and professor of political science at the University of Montreal. Uh, Trudeau and Trump, as Jessica pointed out, pretty much polar opposites on so many issues. What's your takeaway of this meeting so far? Well, a lot, a lot of the expectations was for uh, some kind of dramatic situation where Donald Trump would somehow go offline as he has on in some previous encounters or, or phone conversations with foreign leaders. So that, that was the main preoccupation. Things went smoothly. Everything was very much scripted and uh, nothing particularly significant uh, uh, was went offline. But uh, the what what we take out from this meeting is that basically uh, all the tough talk that uh, that Donald Trump has had for North American free trade was much almost entirely directed toward Mexico and he doesn't really have any particularly particular bone to pick against Canada or against the, the trade with Canada other than the usual kinds of bilateral frictions that that were problematic uh, under any administration yeah that back and forth uh, between the United States and Mexico was there any concern there in Canada that perhaps Trudeau might also be stepping into that kind of uh, minefield mm -hmm. well the big problem in terms of the uh, the uh, the tough talk toward Mexico is that it could actually bring the whole NAFTA institutional structure to unravel. And that's something that is very much unsettling for Canadians doing business with the United States because they depend on very much the same kind of structural institutional um, uh, infrastructure. And if there is a um, s sudden move to uh, to make to, or to uh, dismantle NAFTA, uh, this would be a big problem both from the point of view of Mexico and Canada. So Canadians have to be uh, more, more satisfied that they're not the prime target, but they can certainly be uh, collateral damage in, in the, uh, the fight between that's, that's pointing ahead between the United States and Mexico. Yeah, the U.S. president said that uh, there would be tweaks to benefit both countries. What do you think those tweaks might look like? And, and is there a need for tweaks when it comes to the relationship between Canada and the United States? I mean, we're talking billions traded on a daily basis. Yes, uh, I mean, there's probably uh, some recrimination on the U.S. side on the ongoing uh, dispute over softwood lumber because the, the, there's a perception that Canadian lumber is subsidized. There's also a, a, um, an intention on the, on the part of the Trump administration to launch a large-scale infrastructure building uh, uh, project which, which, would, uh, which would bring billions and billions of, of public spending on infrastructure and where Canadian firms under the terms of NAFTA might have uh, the right to bid uh, competitively with U.S. firms. Now, that might pause a problem in terms of the Buy America First policy uh, that, uh, that Donald Trump has put forward and has made a priority. Talk to me about this uh, task force, a whopper of a title, the United States Canada Council for the Advancement of Women Business Leaders and Female Entrepreneurs. Uh, this is something that Trudeau cares passionately about, isn't it? Uh, it is. Uh, I'm not too sure exactly what the point of the whole uh, council is. It, it, it uh, uh, I hear, was an, an initiative that came from the Canadian, Canadian side. It's probably good politics and good personal politics to involve uh, Mr. Trump's daughter in the relationship so that she becomes uh, part of uh, the broad constituency that the, uh, the Canadian government has an interest in, in keeping on its side uh, in the U.S. and, and, and uh, in terms of, of building up a relationship, a closer relationship with the Trump administration, even though there are some, some major uh, ideological policy and also somewhat personal differences between the two leaders. So it's, it's a good way to, to favor a more personal relationship, relationship that would go through his daughter who we all know has uh, a, a large place in, in his uh, entourage. Pierre, thanks so much for your time and your analysis. Appreciate it.